Let's talk about the VST channel mixer in more detail. This is the channel mixer I mean. And I've prepared a little tune here. We've got a few audio tracks, standard audio tracks, which you can recognize by the WAV format in the class column. These audio tracks are playing on the channels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we've got one in stereo on channels 7 and 8. And the audio tracks here are, are red for the percussion, bass drum, snare, hi-hat and another hi-hat, and a dark, dark red color for the, for the um, two bass tracks which we've got. And then we've got um, a few VST instrument channels. Those two are both on the JX16. Um, these are my VST instruments 4, 5 and 6. 6 is the neon instrument. And if I go for the VST instruments, you can see instruments 4, 5 and 6 are loaded. But the um, slots for instruments 1, 2 and 3 are empty right now. So let's go for the... Um, Go for the tune, I'll quickly set up a loop here. Yep, the loop set up. And um, this is how to open the channel mixer. You just go for panels, VSC channel mixer, or you can press control and, and asterisk on the number pad, which is what I usually do. Let's play the tune. It starts with the VST instrument here, the JX16. Then the bass kicks in. The bass is panned to the left. And now the whole track starts. Control plus up is the master mixer, which I'll take down now so I can talk over what's happening. Okay, well here's the channel mixer. You can solo particular channels or add. and sell of them we're in a gap there and that's why you couldn't hear anything when I unsell of them we can mute certain tracks You just have to play around with those two buttons. They're very, very straightforward. Now we're back to the mute settings. And also back at the beginning of the song. We've got the channel numbers down here. Channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in this field I can type in the names for my instruments. Which is what I'm going to do. BD. there and I'll carry this one on on my own. This is what I've done now. You can see I've got names for all my different instruments. So I know when I change the volumes what instruments I'm I'm affecting. This is snare drum. Now I want to read all my drum sounds to this group here. So I'll give this group a name. I call it drums. And down here I can select where I want to route things to. So I'll put this into the drums, the drum group. And you can see the drums are here. And if I solo the group, the group is soloed. And also all these channels here, all the drum channels. And we can just hear the drums. Now we can take the volume down off the drums. At the beginning of the track. I'll solo the bass drum now, and um, this is the pan setting, so you can check where the bass drum is sitting. I can hear it on the right now, and obviously now on the left it goes up to 64, both sides, the middle is, is center. You can double click in here and type in um, left 64, or, or right 45, anything you like or zero for center. So the recording is in stereo and I should be able to hear the changes in the pan settings as well. Back to the middle. And let's listen to the whole drum track. You can give them different volumes. You could place the hi-hat different areas. I'm going to fast forward.
place it over to the right. And imagine you had a drummer sitting in front of you and his hi-hat was on the um, right hand side. Obviously you could work with both hi-hats. This hi-hat here is a lot quieter on purpose. In order to measure the volumes, you just have to click on here again and get a reading and this one it says minus 20 dB. If I bring it down and click on it again it says minus 40 now. Bring it up, minus 22. It updates itself automatically actually which is quite nice. So let's put the highlights back there. Why not like that? This one is in the middle usually. Zero and also zero. And uh, fast forward the track. Let's go back to the, the um, full sound again. You've got a few options here on the side. For example, we could mute the MIDI tracks. The VST instruments are initially MIDI tracks and um, by clicking on this button here we'll mute these tracks and bring them back to live again. So the audio tracks are still playing, the MIDI is muted. The effects button opens up the VST send effects panel. We haven't got any effects there for now so this one is still empty but that's how to get into the send effects panel. It's the same as the as pressing going for panels and choosing VST send effects brings up the same panel. Reset resets the whole mixer. Let's leave that um, for the end. Master, if you click on master, it adds on the master area to the mixer. The window size um, stays the same. The master is just laid on top of these um, tracks down there. Here you can see that that it's, it, that it's clipping a little bit. We're 0.5 dB um, over zero, so we can um, either take this these down a little bit on, or find out which one is the culprit. Basically, I presume it's the snare. I'll take the snare down a bit. See now it goes up to zero dB, and it and it did the trick basically. Meters. If you click on hold you can see a little line up here showing you the, the last peaks and if you click on fast the, the meters actually move a little bit faster, they drop quicker. Have a, keep an eye on the snare drum here. This is how fast the meter drops after the snare hit and if I switch this off you can see the meter coming down a lot slower now. beginning again see this one comes down slowly and if I click it on fast it's more responsive now we've got a view section here which is quite nice um, you might be wondering why I can only see eight channels and then only three VSTs and so on and only two groups even though I've opened the window up to the max because I can change the views here. I can go into edit and um, for example channel 6 is not needed so I could see channel 6, nothing plays on channel 6 so I could just untick this one here make it not visible and um, close this window again and then you can see it goes from channel 5 straight into channel 7. You can play around with other views you can see everything apart from the tracks go for um, groups only, shows us eight groups. And um, yeah, you've got other options, VST instruments, added, these are our VST instruments. And you can um, give it a new name if you want to, let's go for a default. Go for a name and let's call it 
um, let's call it tune, tune in, in the key of, no, it's in, in B minor is, anyway. That's the view, tune in B minor. We can edit that view. For example, we want to see all the channels, apart from these here. So this is what I've done before, I've made these channels invisible. Obviously, if I know I only need, let's say, 8 channels, I wouldn't be um, activating 20 channels in the audio system setup. But for the time being, that's exactly what I've done. And I've made these invisible. 